mom's gonna flip when she sees what you put together for the anniversary party. Not so loud. I want the slideshow to be a surprise. Who's that? Oh, that's Aunt Melissa. She's so awesome. Hey, Grandpa. That's the day he gave you Binky. Yeah. Binky? Griffin's teddy bear. This one time, an hour into a car trip, we had her turn around because Griffin forgot him at home. <laughs> he loved that thing. It was always Binky's dream to see the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, family ski trip. Yeah! It was great. It must be nice to have home movies <laughs> and share family memories. This is as close to a family photo as I have. It's taken right before my dad left. He hurt my mom's feelings so much, she cut him out of the photo. My dad's the only real family I have left. He's out there somewhere. I just wish I knew where. Nothing. There's four David Seegers. Which one are you? Caitlin, time for bed. Uh, okay, Dory, in a minute. Listen, I finally figured out what we're gonna do from my parents' anniversary party at the diner. We? Yeah. You said you'd come by and help me out. Yeah, by help out, I'm gonna come by and eat cake. After we do our comedy routine. <gasps> what? Yeah, come on. Every party needs laughs. We're gonna provide them. Are you sure about this? Huh? Absolutely. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. That's what I'm afraid of, bud. Looking pretty good up there. Really? Yeah, better than good. You're excellent. Thanks. Let's uh, say, Caitlin, were you online last night? No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Maybe, why would I be online? Someone forgot to log off. Probably Griff talking to his pen pal. Yeah, that's probably it. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're a great audience. Well, most people don't know this, but uh, Dad actually did propose to Mom down on one knee. Of course, she had to. Mom had him in a headlock. <laughs> Thanks. Got a million of them. Then why'd you use that one? Hilarious. You know what? If you're here to annoy me, then the door's that thing behind you. Look, Griff, I... I need your help. You gotta keep it a secret. Yeah, sure. What is it? I did a search on the internet to find my father. What? You told us he was dead. I know. But it wasn't true. When I was four, my mom and him decided to split up. She always told me that he was an artist. And he didn't think he could make it in Philadelphia. Uh, so, so what do you want from me? I want you to help me find him. You're good at that sort of thing. You're kind of snoopy. I don't know, Caitlin. Why would you want to? Griff, 
When I saw those slides of you and your family, it made me realize how much I miss being a part of one. But you're part of our family. It's not the same. I want someone who's known me since I was born. You've got tons of people like that. I only have one. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so, so say we find this guy, which is highly unlikely. What are you gonna do? I, I don't know, talk to him maybe? Let him know I'm around? He probably doesn't even know about my mom dying. Okay, I'll, I'll help, but if we find him, you have to promise me that you're not going to leave here. Okay? Yeah. Hello, this is Paris Arch. Hi, um, Hi. I'm trying to find a David Seeger. His last known residence? His last known residence? Um, 1252, 1252. Oak Avenue. I don't know about this man. I didn't think comedy duos were supposed to have two straight men. What are you talking about? This stuff is great. No, this stuff is lame. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi Jeff, well. Wow, place looks great. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Wow, thanks dad, but you didn't have to do that. Ever since Billy Piazkowski stole Bingy, I've never been able to look at another bear. It's for your mom. <laughs> it's happy, the anniversary bear. Thought you might like it. Oh, and while I was out there, I got you this. What is it? Open it and see. I thought you liked the uh, you know, Griffin's teddy bear from the slides. Griffin was a baby. I'm 14. Dory likes teddy bears. Dory and I aren't that much alike. We're hardly even related, remember? I have work to do. Hey, I'm going into the city to buy Jim's anniversary gift. You want to come? Uh, not unless Jim wants the new Lenny Kravitz CD. <laughs> hey, Dory. Are there staples in big cities? Sometimes. There's one in New York. People go riding in Central Park. Really? Sure. <laughs> Why do you ask? You and Bannon want to take in a Broadway show? <laughs> uh, I, I was just curious. Well, personally, I've always felt sorry for animals that are put up in the city. It's not right. Horses should be in the country. Well, if a horse like Bandit could get used to ranch life, I'm sure he could get used to city life. I suppose so. <laughs> I don't think that either you or Bennett are going to have to worry about that. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right, seriously. These jokes are killer. I, I think I found my hidden talent. How much longer are you going to be? As long as I want to be. I'll call you back. What did you do that for? What happens if the agency tries to call me about my dad? Caitlin, it's only been one day. Besides, we have call waiting. Oh, yeah. Look, if he's out there, they'll find him. Trust me. All right? And right now, we have more important things to worry about. Like what? Like my comedy act. Did you know the number one thing girls look for in a guy is a sense of humor? And when was the last time you saw Bose with the clown on a date? How are they looking? Oh, great. <laughs> you are such a show-off. <laughs> Caitlin, you can be the official taster of the cookies for the anniversary party. You made cookies for your anniversary party? Well, it has a history. Jim made cookies for me on our first date. <laughs> what do you think? I think I finally figured out why she married you. Hey! <laughs> Jim! <laughs> That's it. This is war. You guys, my kitchen! Oh. <laughs> you have messed with the wrong person. Stay back. I'm not afraid to use this. I'll get it. Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's get him. Hey! No, uh, Caitlin, it's a phone. Oh. Um, I'll take it in the living room. We wanted to let you know the search for your father is turning up quite a few matches. We're now working on a short list. Griffin, I know she asked you to keep it a secret, but sometimes there are things that you just have to tell us. It's no big deal, you guys. She just wanted to talk to the guy. Not that big of a deal. I mean, first of all, he left Caitlin and her mother. We don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about him. He left when I was four. I wonder what it would be like to have a dad. It's a good idea to match a tie to the person's coloring. What color are your father's eyes? I'm not sure. Is he uh, shy? Intense? I think I better come back. Hey, I've been looking for you. You okay? Yeah. No. I don't know. I just... I just don't believe it. I mean, after all this time... I may finally have my own family again. Not foster parents, not cousins, but my real dad. Caitlin, I hope they do find your father. And I hope he's in a good place. But you need to know that no matter what happens, you are a part of this family. You're a part of me. And you always will be. So scared. Oh, Harvey. Hey, Dad. I have the greatest idea. I'm gonna do jokes about Caitlin in my routine. If she sees how much a part of this family she is, she'll have to stay. It's like, it's like you remember that time when her lip gloss fell in the wash with our underwear? You okay? I bought Caitlin a stuffed animal. Said she was too old for toys. <sighs> Maybe she was looking for her father because I haven't been there for her. No. No, you're everything a dad could ever be. Always. Forever. You two are so close. Caitlin argues with your mom all the time, but there's something really strong between them. Maybe she wants to go because I haven't made her feel like part of the family. Dad, she loves you. She just doesn't know it yet. Besides, she's not going anywhere. Trust me, you're gonna have a whole lifetime to prove to her what a great dad you are. What's this? It's a shirt. Thought we should have matching outfits. See? You actually want me to wear this? Yeah. I thought your jokes were embarrassing. Huh. I have to make this night perfect. I have to prove to Caitlin that this is where her family is. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> you look awesome. <laughs> thanks. In a totally respectful way. <laughs> totally respectful. Thank you. Good to see you, friend. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Goo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the hottest comedy duo to hit High River. Stevens and Will. So, uh, it's great to be here at your, at your parents' anniversary. Tell me, how long have they been married? Well, it's hard to say, Brett. Because you don't know? No, because if I told, my mom would never let me back in the house again. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
What do they, uh, what do they say the key to a successful marriage is? My mother told my dad it was communication. And what'd he say? Nothing, he wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you've added a wild horse and a girl to your house. Oh. Tell me, how's that been? Oh, totally weird. There's, there's the bucking, the stomping, the winning, and then there's Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what's it like to suddenly have to live with a girl? Well, I have to take a number to use the bathroom. By the way, I was here first. Can't you learn to put down the toilet seat? <laughs> What? You didn't think I was funny? Listen, I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. What do you mean? You think that just because you add me into your little routine that it's going to make me not want to leave? How dare you try and make me feel guilty for wanting to find my dad? You're so selfish. Selfish? I mean, what about you? Me? You walk into my life. A person who, if they'd found their father within the first week of being here, I would have bought them a plane ticket home myself. And then you let me get to know you. How cool you are, how smart, how funny. You just, you just can't become my sister and walk away. Sister. You know, Bandit, when the agency finds my dad, decided I'm going to go back to him. And if, if I get to go back to my family, it's not fair that I keep you from yours. I've been thinking about it for a while, and I think you should go and find him. Besides, I don't think you'd like it in the city. Go on. <laughs> Take this chance while you have it, boy. I know I will. You guys. Can't believe you put a slideshow together for me. Well, I was going to show them this afternoon, but after what happened, I didn't think it was right. Maybe now they'll cheer us up. Yeah. How can you sit here and talk about some stupid slideshow? Aren't you going to do something? Well, Griffin, what are we supposed to do? Lock her in her room? I'll get it. Hi. Caitlin came here to share her life with us, but it is her life. If she chooses to go back with her father, then we have to help her with that. That was the agency. They definitely have three potential matches. They want to make sure Caitlin's absolutely positive she wants to continue with the search. I'll go get her. No. I'll do it. It's gonna be okay. Caitlin, the agency just called. They, they've got a few matches. They need you to phone them back to make sure you really want to go through with this. Uh, well, I guess I should go call them back then. Did he get out? No, I, I let him go. And he came back. He doesn't know where his home is. Neither do I. Hi, I'm Dory. Hi, I'm Jim. Hey, whatever. You don't understand. This is your whole future. 
your mother. Did you hear him? He squeaked. My new family. I just said that so you wouldn't beat me up. It's like you have to go forward. I just want you to start having good memories. Don't usually do donuts, huh? That's great, honey. I don't miss it now. I've been up here. Just take one little step. Come on, be brave. I know he's not your dad, but he's family, your guardian. Thanks for taking the blame. No one's ever done that for me before. Maybe this mom knows a thing or two. What are you grinning at? Nothing. You know, I always tried to not get too close to you. I told myself it was because you were a cop. But the truth is that I always thought that if a father got to know me, that he would leave me too. You weren't the reason he left, Caitlin. How do you know? I mean, how do you know for sure? Look, I know you're not my daughter, but if you were, there is nothing in the world that would make me let you go. I can't imagine my family without you. I'm not ready to see him. I don't even know him. I don't know what it means to be a daughter. Maybe if you stay, you and I could figure out how fathers and daughters are supposed to be. It could be like a practice round. Practice round? Yeah, for when you think you're ready to meet your dad. Well, I guess I, I better go put Bandit back in the barn. You mean he's staying? We both are. That's great. I'll go tell everyone. I know that I could spend the rest of my life searching for my past. Maybe I'll find it, maybe I won't. But here's where I belong right now. And hey, it's not such a bad place to be. I can't imagine my family without you. I can't imagine not being a part of this family.